Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing 20 things I learned at 20 years old. So, I'm officially 20 years old. I'm no longer a teenager and we are going to get into the 20 things I learned at 20. If you haven't seen the past two videos that I've done where I did 18 things and 19 things, I will link those down below or I'll put them in the cards and you can also check those as well. But before I get into this video, I'm going to warn you that these things I definitely have learned in the past couple months. And it's because this whole moving to a different state type of thing has brought out a lot of insecurities and a lot of deep-rooted things that I didn't know were there. And I definitely, even while preparing this video, have realized some things that I'm like, wow, who would have thought? So this video is going to be a little bit more vulnerable in the sense that I'm sharing what I'm learning and not what I've learned. So it's still a process and it's still what is going on inside of me. But I'm going to share it with you because I just want to and I want to be open with you guys. So we are going to go into some deep things. So get ready. And without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Let's get started. This is going to be deep. Okay, so number one is to guard your heart and this is actually a verse in the Bible. I'll put it right here because I don't know what the verse is or where it is, but I know it's a verse and I definitely think that I didn't know how to guard my heart and when I was serving in ministry a lot, I definitely would let people take advantage of me, but I was like, it's for the ministry and that's really not the greatest way of going about it. I definitely needed to learn how to guard my heart and not in the sense I'm just going to push people out of my life and have distance, but in the sense where I can still love them and still care for myself. There's definitely a balance there and I didn't really know how to do that. Definitely still learning it too on how to guard myself like the Bible is asking me to do. Number two, be confident in who you are. This is like so cliche, but I think moving to a new place where people don't actually know me and I still don't feel like they do and they're starting to get to know me and know who I actually am and what I actually love. I've definitely been a little scared to be like, hey, I do love social media and I do love to wear makeup. A lot of people here don't wear makeup. Like, I don't understand, but, and I am learning how to just be like, this is me and you can take it or leave it type of thing. I'm still learning how to do that. I literally was thinking about it like last night where I'm still learning how to be totally confident in this California girl and who God created me to be. This one is really kind of dumb. I'm sorry for sharing this on the internet, but Number three, people actually like me and I feel like now that I've put myself into new environments, I can often overthink and be like, do people actually like me? Are they just pretending? Like I don't really know. And it's just your typical overthinking, wanting people to like you, wanting to please people. It's not a good attitude to have. It's not of the Lord. and. I'm working on it. I'm definitely getting better. The first month in the semester, I wasn't doing very well with that and I was getting a little bit sad, but I'm definitely doing better about it now and I'm just being comfortable and knowing that I do have friends that do like me and care about me. <laughs> Number four, Jesus wants me to have an abundant life and I feel like we can definitely believe this lie to ourselves, the people that want to be in ministry, that we are always going to have to go through hard times, but Jesus actually wants us to thrive and to have a joyful life, even if we are in ministry. And I feel like this season right now, I'm loving everything that I'm doing. Jesus has definitely given me this season to rest and to enjoy just being a young adult and having friends and just getting to do the things that I love and I'm so grateful for that and I know that there are going to be hard seasons but this one I'm loving where I'm at and I'm loving just to get to focus on me for a little bit which is selfish but I definitely feel like I need it in this moment. Number five, listen to other people. I realized that I'm not 
great at listening to people, which sounds terrible, but I can just have a million things on my mind all the time and I'm not actually listening to somebody. I'm hearing them, but I'm not listening to them. And I definitely want to get better at that where I'm looking at somebody and being present in what they're saying. I definitely need to work on that. That's just a little snippet in case you weren't good at that and you just realized that, now you know. Number six, don't immediately judge people and being in this new environment has allowed that bad attribute in my life to show. And I always knew that I had this problem, but I definitely want to get better at it. And I want to look at people the way Jesus looks at them and love them the way that Jesus does. So pray for me. I'm getting better at it. I definitely am. Number seven, your plans are subject to change. Obviously, because a year ago, I didn't know that I was going to be moving to Tennessee and going to college and getting an actual job. Like, literally my life turned upside down. But I don't regret it at all, and I don't have any resentment towards Jesus or my family or anybody involved and where I'm at now. Like, I love what I said earlier, this season that I'm in, and I do thank Jesus for changing my plans completely because that's the joy of following Jesus is that he's going to change what you think and what you expect and it's fun it's scary but it's also fun number eight love people deeply and love them fully I feel like I have been a little bit scared to do that because I'm scared of people hurting me I'm scared of them not liking me like I talked about earlier I want to be able because of Jesus's love in me to love people completely and fully and to truly care about them. That's been something that I've really been passionate about, like caring about my friends and doing things that show that I love them and show that I care for them. Whether it's like writing little notes or going to pick them up something, like I want to do those things for not only my friends, but my family, boyfriend, anybody in my life. I want to be able to do that for them. So it's something that I'm learning and it's fun. It really is fun to love people and just to be honest about what you feel. I love doing that. Number nine, I love social media and I feel like as a Christian, it feels wrong to say that I love social media, but I actually do. I know that there's evils and there's so much wrong about social media, but I truly have a passion for creating content and posting and just all of the stuff that goes into it. I definitely got away from that in the past month or so because of school and work, but I just had a fall break and I got to do a little bit of content creating and it just made me so excited. And that's how you know that you're passionate about it when you get to get back into it and you're just fired up. That's how I felt and I'm not ashamed of it, okay? I love social media and I love doing what I'm doing right now, so putting that out there. Number 10, worship truly refreshes my soul. And I think now that I'm away from my own worship team and looking at other worship teams, seeing how they do things, when there is a true worship team that is really wanting to pursue God, my heart gets so excited and I almost want to cry every time. I don't know why, but I just love seeing people truly going after the Lord in worship. And I'm appreciating that so much more because there's some worship services that I haven't felt that. But the people that really do pursue after Jesus in their worship, it's something that gets me excited and refreshes me. This has been in some of my past ones, but number 11 self-care is essential i'm going to talk about it every video i feel like because it's something i have to remind myself so i'm writing down to talk about it but yes as i've been getting busier and busier i haven't been taking care of myself like i should so i'm definitely needing to do that more and more and needing to have time to sit in my hammock spend time with jesus or to film content like I was talking about earlier or to watch YouTube for hours on end, sometimes you just need to do that. Reminder to you, reminder to me, self-care. Take care of yourself. Number 12, God is always going to take care of me. I don't know why I doubt this, but sometimes I do and I am unsure, but God has always taken care of me and he's moved me across the country. I got a real job. 
like a real job and I'm doing well in my job and I'm going to a real school and I'm doing well in school and he's just always gonna take care of me and I don't know why I forget that but I do sometimes number 13 I have a heart for people that are stuck in a religion and are in a relationship with Jesus if you look at my life and my testimony and the places that God has brought me through have been so strategic to develop this passion inside me because I went to a lot of Christian schools growing up and just was stuck in a lot of different realms where people just went to church and checked it off a box. And I definitely feel like for Tennessee, this is something that can be a struggle for the Bible Belt in general. And I have a heart for those people because I truly want them to know who Jesus is and how he loves them and all of their mess and all the things that they might hide from him. So that's like this new little passion of mine and I love it and I'm excited for what God is going to have me do here in Tennessee because it's going to be a fun adventure. Number 14 learn how to accept God's love without conditions. This can be hard if you've been hurt or you've done things that you don't particularly love, but God does love us despite those things. And we can say, well, I did this, so I don't know if you can love me completely. And that's not really the case. That's an encouragement for me and for you guys. So just know God loves you and you can't accept that without the conditions, without the walls, and without the limit. Number 15, my life doesn't have to be one career or one passion or one purpose, one goal. It can be a multitude of different things. I don't know if I've told you to this, but I'm gonna be adding a major. I'm still majoring in worship, but I'm gonna be adding video production as a minor. And it's because I have so many passions and so many things that I love to do that I want God to be able to use me in a bunch of different ways. Number 16, let people help you and let them bless you. And this has been difficult for me because it has been a struggle to pay for school in the last couple months. But my family and boyfriend have been so gracious and so helpful to me. The other day, about a few weeks ago, I was struggling to make a payment and my grandparents offered to give me some money to make that payment and I just was so grateful to them because I definitely wasn't going to make it and that same day my boyfriend told me that he was willing to pay for most of our dates or whatever I needed him to pay for because he knew that I was living the college broke life and I just started crying. I think I did. I don't remember if I like almost cried, whatever, but I was just so appreciative and didn't know what to do and how to repay them. But that is just part of being with Jesus. Jesus will bring people to bless you when you're in need. And I have to accept that. Number 17, it's okay to be girly. And I don't know why I thought it was not okay, but I think my mom is not very girly which no offense to her, she that's just not her thing. But I'm way more girlier than her. And I, at first, I didn't really embrace that, but as I've gotten older, I've totally liked pink because that's actually what I like and I actually do enjoy the girly things. So yeah, I'm learning how to be okay with that. And I definitely didn't know how to do that before. Number 18. <laughs> I needed to learn how to focus better. I'm such a distracted human being and it goes along with me having trouble listening to people because there's a million things on my mind all the time. Like I wish I could show you what my mind is like on a regular day, but it's insane how fast so many thoughts roll through my mind all of the time. And it's so hard for me to focus, especially with church services and stuff like that. I've definitely had a hard time struggling in church, in class, so I definitely need to find ways to focus better, and I'm not sure how to do that, but I'm going to learn how to focus. Number 19? Yeah, number 19. Have more fun. I'm turning into a gross adult, you guys. I just go to school and just go to work, and I'm not having fun, so encourage me to have more fun and to do fun things, because 
I need to. I can't grow up and be only responsible and disgusting like that. And finally, number 20, you're doing fine. And I'm saying this to myself, but also to you guys, and it's actually the little slogan on my sweatshirt because this is Hannah Maloche merch and it says you're doing fine and I love that and this phrase to me is just a reminder that I cannot be perfect in every avenue of my life there's so many plates that I'm juggling and it's just impossible to be amazing at all of them and sometimes I can beat myself up about that and that is just not okay to do because I'm not expected to be perfect and that's why this is a great reminder that you're doing fine and so am I at <laughs> all 20 of them. Can I just apologize for this video being so serious? I didn't really want it to be serious but I also wanted to be vulnerable and open about the things that I'm learning right now because I feel like me telling the internet that can help you guys. So that's why I filmed the video like this but Let's still be excited and let's still party because I'm 20 years old, maybe, and I'm excited for that. So I hope you enjoyed these little words of wisdom, words of advice. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.